Now we're going to, we've selected our recipes. We're going to use the first one only because we're only calling on one slight, one extruder. And we're going to say process, slice with slicer. And now we see our slicing log. If there are any initial errors, you might get an NAN error, not a number. That's usually with a model you've downloaded and does not fully heal. Go back and see the video about healing downloaded files with MeshLab. So now we see that that STL model has been ghosted and it's light blue and we have a bunch of white lines representing the printing moves in our g-code. So here's our g-code. Any move, any g1 move that has an E value is considered a printing move. Now I'm going to go down here to my view tab and show a single layer at a time. So you can probably see that ghost image of the model and here's layer one how it's going to be printed. To show you that this is a live or a semi-live rendering, I'm going to take this first printing move here, and instead of going to Y93, I'm going to scroll out and I'm going to tell it to go to Y193. And I'm going to refresh my G-code rendering. Now you see that line has been drawn way out 100 millimeters further than it should be. And I'm going to go back and change that back to 93. Refresh my G-code rendering again and it's back where it should be. So this is layer one. These two perimeters are actually the skirt. It's a final check to make sure material is flowing and sticking properly and the bed level is level and the zero position is set right. Then these perimeters are, the, most of them are the brim. That's for extra bed adhesion and the rest is your model. So we're going to just advance layer by layer. After three solid bottom layers and you see the three perimeters, the inside, the infill is going to be a honeycomb 35% density. And that's going to rotate 120 degrees every layer. And we're going to work our way up. And when there's going to be solid layers, when, it, when we reach the top of a particular shape, there'll be some solid layers. So there you see we're about to spread out some. As we work our way up, more solid layers. And then we have that column that goes up. And then there's the, that hole that goes through there, that pentagonal, pentagonal shaped hole. And it's going to top it off like that. Now we're ready to go to our hardware and start our print.